Good Thursday morning. It's Ice Age TV, and what are we doing today? Looks like we've got a Bronco here. Wild track that is. Motorcycle trailer that is, right? And what are we doing? We are going to Florida today, and good Lord, raining, cool out here. And we're going to share our Florida driving trip and our Ford Bronco pulling, yeah, I think we're pulling about 3,800 pounds. So I'm about 300 pounds over. So, ooh, huh. Somebody like, yeah. And I don't think this is a debate about where a truck can do it. It's all about the weight capacities and how this truck's designed. I said truck, right? <laughs> I think that thing's a truck. Drives like a truck, which I think is pretty cool. But, hey, follow me along today as we drive down the road and I share you my experience on the tow day for the motorcycle trailer that this vehicle is rated at 3,500 pounds. And let's see how she does today in fuel economy and stability and all that great stuff. So follow me along on Ice Age TV. All right, first thing we got to do is we got to hear this, this exhaust. Let's listen to the exhaust startup on my new AW exhaust. Let's see here. sure all the lights are working looks like they are as you go down the road with my honda and my indian all right <laughs> i think we are good to go tires look good hitch looks good everything secured okay all right well the first adventure is my dog <laughs> back there just trashed my whole freaking interior duh yeah, let your dog in. Here, let me have that. Gee, isn't that nice, right? It's all about driving the who can drive the dogs drive you nutty. Yeah. Where do they get Yeah, so them? for anybody here that kind of follows my channel, now I get back, you know, I'm gonna be gone for like 10 days. This grass, oh my gosh. I'm gonna have such a project. Grass, weed whacking, garden, yikes. All right, so look here. Hey, I was damn close. So I said 981 miles yesterday when I did a little test drive in my trailer. 11.7. Let's go to our GOAT modes. Right? Go to Sport. I always take it out of four-wheel drive because I don't know why you need four-wheel drive unless you're doing the Baja thing, right? So, hey, here we go. In our adventure, it's 715, 69 degrees here where we are. Is that right? No, it's 47 degrees. <laughs> I just say, that can't be right. Got my Bronco hat there. How about that? So Usually you have it facing this way. Okay, so you can do that. See. All right, so here we go. Bronco Day Adventures begin. As I forget something. <laughs> well, one thing for sure about this Bronco, this thing's got plenty of power. I mean, oh my gosh. I mean, I just pulled out. It's like nothing. So, power-wise, this thing's just phenomenal. And right now, this trailer is just rock solid. Trucks feels great. But I don't really think you really know the real story. I don't think you really get to know the real story until you're really at the higher speeds. So, for the moment, you know, I really can't say. That I can say, oh, yeah, it's just perfect. But right now, at this speed, yes. This speed, she's feeling awesome. I'm really going to be curious to watch this fuel economy. Oh, my gosh. If I could keep that fuel economy, I'd be very happy, but I doubt it. Rainy, rainy, rainy. All right. So, look at this. How many hours you got left? 13 hours. Which, that's not correct because you got to be stopping for fuel, food. So, there's, we got a good 14, 15-hour drive ahead of us. All right. So, the, the uh, fun begins... 
Here's our first fill up, 429. I mean, it won't take a lot because I'm just topping her off here. But geez, this is not comforting. Being at Costco, Costco where I live is usually a good 30 to 50 cent cheaper. So does that mean on the road I'm gonna see $5 gas? <laughs> I mean, think about that, wow. Yep. Yeah, does anybody wonder why the road's getting lighter? I mean, come on. You know, Yee, yikes. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to write down the mileage so we kind of know from, you know, the get-go what we're going to be actually getting on real deal. So we'll write that down. All right, that was... Uh, all right, so let's do this here. Let's see if the mileage is 4581. 4581. Okay. So our next stop... We'll figure that all out in the next one, right? All right, we're here at Chick-fil-A. Getting breakfast. And my dog says, yeah, where's mine? Is that my breakfast this morning, huh? Is that breakfast for you, scouty boy, huh? I don't think so. Yep, so the kid orders two drinks. One for her. <laughs> And one not for me. I'm sorry. I didn't know. It's genuinely an accident. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I did. Oh, well. All right. Yikes. I'm sorry. It's all good, kid. It's all good. I guess I could go in and get one, right? <laughs> the adventure begins. Now my daughter's bragging about her 10. You are a hoot. I'm going to go to Panera get myself a coffee good job. well we're using the kids phone now to get creative but here you go get old northern virginia traffic 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 now think about this this is not comforting so i don't think i'm going to get 11 miles a gallon i think i'm going to be in the 10 mile per gallon range once i get out the open highway so all right to be the devil's advocate, we'll say we get 11, right? Yeah, so I'm gonna, I have right now 919 miles to go, right? So that's basically just a rough number. You know, that's, that's 80 gallons of gas. Now, if I'm finding $4 gas, that's 320 bucks in fuel, and that's not too shabby. But if I'm gonna have to pay $5 of gas, then you're talking 450 bucks. You know, and I should say at $4 would be 360. So, if you get a mile, if you don't really, if I don't run this thing real hard, like an extra mile per gallon, you know, what's that gonna be over, a, you know, 900 miles? Nine gallons? I don't even have to get my calculator out to figure that one out, right? So, well, it could be savings of 40, 40 bucks, 50 bucks. I guess the kid isn't going to be eating any more than anything else for, for uh, lunch or dinner. We'll save the money that way. So it's been $50. Look, I got peanut butter jelly sandwiches in the car. And I've got Kit Kats. And I've got Tasty Cakes. And we got some nice fresh dogs back here. We can stir them up, make a little, have a little bit of meat, right? Kid is an answer on that one, but hey, here we are. So this thing's just rocking, man. I mean, oh my gosh, this thing is just so confident. I mean, wow. I mean, do I have thirty-eight hundred pounds back there? Right now, I, I'm telling you, this this Bronco, this thing. You know, I made a video, the baddest ass SUV that I've ever owned in this segment, and I'm not lying. I'm not lying. This is just a badass ass SUV. Fun as can get. It's fun as all get out. And, you know, of course, I have the, you know, wild track package, you know, so yeah. But, and now I've got that nice exhaust. And this thing actually does a, uh, like a little rev match. Listen. <laughs> oh my gosh. What a blast. Stop! Yeah. Will be like, <laughs> okay, stop. I thought you were. 
Uh, yeah, somebody's got impact uh, fear. Wonder why that is. Yeah, if you follow my videos, you'll understand why she gets all freaked out. Look at that. Look, look, she thinks we're going to stop. We're going to crash. Hey, the little uh, button here. I was a little confused earlier on getting that thing dialed in, but man, I tell you what, that thing's that thing's really it really works. <laughs> That's the good news. So, all right. Yep, the DC area's traffic is bad. Dad, I don't get the difference between sending taking the video on this this phone or this phone. Because you're still going to have to send it to your phone to download. But if your phone doesn't take the download, what's the point? There you go. She's pretty smart, isn't she? Well, I'll have time later to figure out what videos I want to get rid of and photos. To manage. Yeah, I know. We'll Why see. Don't you just get a, She's not happy I'm using her phone. That's the real answer. Why don't you use a Samsung? Why don't you buy a Samsung? Well, oh, I have a Samsung right there. Why would Why I need to buy, buy one? Yeah, so how do you zoom that one out? So that's the thing. I want to be able to zoom in. You know, you want, well, I don't want a close-up picture. I want more of a panorama type of view. So how do you get that? Yeah, she's already making faces on my phone. So how do you get that all? Uh, she's already using up all my, you know, she's already complained about me using her phone. I just was seeing the camera quality. Yeah, so how do you... Oh, it's a good quality. It's all right. Oh, it's just okay. All right, good. I'll use your phone then. We'll switch out some cards. I use that one. Yeah, there we go. That's a great idea, right? Uh, it's going to be a long day drive, and I can already kind of tell that. So, yeah, we <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> Why wouldn't it be? <laughs> And of course, the pups back there, they're all laid out. And they're on my Costco purchase seat covers. Which I really like those. Wow. 12 miles a gallon now. Huh. I, used to, I mean, once again, I'm out of the main, main road yet. So I think once I get out in 95, we start doing 70 mile an hour speeds. That's going to go away, but boy, that would be impressive. It would be very impressive. But yeah, I doubt that's going to last. Man, this thing's just so nice. This is such a confident... This vehicle's not struggling whatsoever to uh, pull this trailer. I mean, and the vehicle's not being pushed around, and I'm telling you, I've got a good 3,800 pounds behind me. I know everybody's like, yeah, dude, and your transmission goes out. I'll be calling the Ford dealer. I'll know that you that you created that problem. Get yeah, gee, thanks. Uh, like, what's that going to get you in life, right? But anyways, this thing's just so confident. I mean, if you if you're a person that's towed vehicles, you know, if you're anybody out there that's done a lot of towing and you've had different experiences with different vehicles and different setups, you know, you know, it's it's either like what I'm experiencing right now, or so far, it's really nice. Or you're like, oh my gosh, this vehicle's really it's just a drag. I mean, the whole trip is a total drag because you're fighting the trailer, you're fighting the vehicle, and uh, so far, you know, nothing at high speeds. This thing's just perfect. I am really, I am really, I mean, this thing's this thing's pulling better than my Ford Expedition did. It's pulling better than my Ram 1500. And what I mean by that is. You know, if you take the proportion of weight that that 1500 was rated for, you know, and once again, if you look at my videos, even my Ford Raptor, you know, I towed a motorcycle trailer, you know, same setup as what I'm doing right now, and uh, oh my gosh, I mean, that Raptor's not really designed for much towing capability. This thing's every bit of, you know, that, meaning, oh my, it's, it's better. <laughs> In proportion to weights, you know what I mean. Wow, she's really enjoying my Bronco, and yeah, famous last words, right? As I go to the gas pump, uh oh, twelve point one.
All right, we had 12.4 miles per gallon back there. Here we are. We're now finally on Route 95. Starting to be higher speeds. How does the vehicle do? And how does our fuel mileage do? That's the next video. Wow. I mean, this is impressive. I mean, I'm going to be really taken back. This thing's hitting 12 miles a gallon. And it's 70 miles an hour. This thing's awesome. Oh my gosh, what a great vehicle. Everybody watching my videos and going, you know, I'm so sick of waiting for my Bronco. Yeah, anybody out there that's frustrated about getting their Bronco, I mean, I get it, but I'm going to tell you what. It's worth the wait. <laughs> that's, the, that's the saying now. It's worth the wait. Yeah, I mean, this thing is just so much fun. This vehicle is a blast. I mean, it really is. So, the towing capability, I'm just... I am really impressed, which that's exciting because that means I can take this vehicle and I can take my motorcycles or my ATV, my dirt bikes, whatever. You can go places and you'll go with confidence. So uh, follow us along as we continue our long day of driving. That's something I didn't mention. Right now I have my adaptive cruise control on. I mean, oh my gosh. I mean, look at that. It's just so much, you know, it's so relaxing and how the vehicle, you know, really just keeps it consistent speeds. What's interesting is the speedo's off by a little bit because if you go to your ways, it shows I'm doing about 69. So I could up this a little bit right here. Let's see if we get her about 70. Kind of see what we do. But right now, I mean, oh my gosh. I'll be, I'm just going to be taken back to see if it gets this type of mileage all the way there. That'd be so great in my book. Most of my vehicles don't get that type of mileage. But I'm telling my other, you know, trailers, of course, they're bigger trailers. But even at that, I towed to Florida a motorcycle trailer just like this. Now, of course, I had my two, uh, at that time, I had my two fully dressed Harleys. And, you know, so there was more weight by, you know, I'll just say there was 500 pounds more weight in the trailer, and it was a 16-foot long trailer versus 14-foot long trailer, but I mean, that thing was getting like 8 miles a gallon. It was ridiculous. What's that all about? I don't know. I mean, you know, I'm sure some of you can question me saying that, but I'm telling you, we were stopping every 120 to 150 miles. I had to manage me not run out of gas and to the point that I drove that thing down I think down to like a eight tenths of a gallon I thought that tank was like a 24 gallon tank and at the last stop in Florida I took it down to like 21.2 gallons and I think that's a 22 gallon tank I could be wrong about that but I was down to like nothing oh uh, yeah yeah so anyways this DAP and cruise control is really nice that pipe. Yeah. We like that, or do we? And that's a freaking Nissan Murano that we just went by that's, the guy's obviously got a bad uh, exhaust on it. Got a guy who tried to do the zigzag right through me and he didn't make it. There's the guy in the Murano behind me. He's left-hand lane, hogging left-hand lane. Don't you just love those people Drive the left hand lane and won't move over. Here he comes. I think, oh my gosh. Yikes. All right, coming up for our first fuel stop since you left. And sure enough, we're at 11.4 now. I notched it up to about 75. So I'm going a little faster, but what I noticed when I was sitting about 70, it did go below 12 miles per gallon. So my theory of the 11 miles per gallon maybe goes to 10 I think is going to be the story today so the next story be the real deal when we factor the real miles but I tell you what roads are pretty light you know you definitely kind of feeling that people are uh, holding out on uh, traveling because of the gas or maybe I'm wrong and uh Actually, uh, 
I'm way off course. Let's see here. We got a Loves or Pilot. I would have gone the Pilot. It's less crowded. Well, this guy here's pulling up or pulling out. Yep. Sure enough. Look at that, huh? Do I go to 89? Possibly. All right. There's the puppies. Uh-oh. Turned off. Why is that? Right? What a pain in the butt. What happened here? What the hell's going on? So this thing's all screwed up. So I guess all you can get is this. Such. So, well, I guess this place is out of gas. This is the weirdest thing. I've tried three times now to get these pumps to work and they don't work. So I'm guessing this place doesn't have any gas. I don't even think they even know that. <laughs> so we're gonna pile it. The kid was right the first time. Well, I guess everything happens for a reason. This place is cheaper. Or is it? Yeah, what a joke. All right, so we got a measly 17.8 gallons for $78. Oh boy. So many gallons, how many miles to gallon? We're figuring that out in a second now. Well, believe it or not, that's pretty accurate. We're getting a little over 11 miles to gallon. So yippee yahoo, as we spent a bunch of money today to drive a nice vehicle and a trailer. It ain't cheap to have fun in life. Who hasn't figured that out, right? <laughs> Am I in sport mode? What mode am I in? Nope, slippery. Sport, there we go. All right. Okay. You got it on? Yeah. I got my videographer over here. Uh, get it far away or close? Far. All right, so this little bad boy just rolls down the road. I mean, oh my gosh, I can't, I just can't emphasize enough. This Bronco, this thing just rocks. I mean, this thing, pulls every kid as my Ford Raptor truck did. I mean, oh my gosh. It's crazy. I mean, I mean, this motor, anybody up there, you know, questioning the power of this thing? Uh, a 2.7 motor. You know, a 2.3, I have those. Those are nice. I mean, they're, they're going to get you down the road. But this 2.7, it's just a Paul's butt. And the 2.3, I'm sure some of you say, yeah, but you'll get better mileage. 2.3, you know, I'm, it, yeah, it would, but would it get by much? I don't think it would. I mean, would it be a five mile per gallon difference? I don't think so. I mean, look at the speeds I'm doing right now. Look at the weights. I'm at 75, and I can easily go 80, which will probably hit some 80 mile an hour, you know, marks. I'm just trying to kind of manage the, flood, the fuel. But now what I did, I put 89 octane in. So I just got 11.1 .1 miles per gallon. So this time around, I should have wrote down the miles before I, I should have taken, well, I think I'm pretty sure I did it anyway, so we should be able to figure that out again. So be curious how the 89 does in the fuel economy. All right, we're doing well, but hey, we just have only uh, another one, 723 miles. It's 10 o'clock at night. I mean, it's going to be 11 o'clock before we get in there. But look at that. North Carolina is our next, uh, or here it is. We're going to be leaving Virginia now. So we, Line. We would have gotten out of Virginia, and I just wanted to fuel up with that. I wasn't fuel putting gloves, didn't have any gas, so we went to pilot. So, uh, but we would have made it to North Carolina from really, we're right at the tip of the uh, Virginia Maryland line, so that was a good, a good drive for his vehicle. All right, follow us along. You know, something we really haven't talked about here is the exhaust. Now, when this thing's downshifting, you get a little bit more of a note. But this exhaust, this AWE exhaust, I mean, come on, listen to this right now. I mean, this is phenomenal. You know, that's a really good exhaust system, and it does not have that drone, obnoxious interior noise. And that was a huge thing I was worried about. I mean, I'm telling you now, there's no way. That is such a huge mistake if you buy the exhaust that just radiates in your interior it'll drive you nuts on a long you know a long drive and asking me how i know 
because I've had them. That's why. So this AWE, you know, single uh, exhaust. It's the same thing for the dual, meaning it's the exact same setup, except just the back end. You have dual pipes going out right after over the axle. So whether you get the single side exhaust, which I think looks a lot better, or you get the dual exhaust, it's all the same thing at the end of the day. So you're getting the same exact noise in the interior of the vehicle. And for me, I think it's respectable. That's awesome. You know, we haven't really talked much about that. So just want to weigh in on that as well for all my modifications I'm doing and my tone that I'm uh, doing. You know, something else I haven't talked about, these modular roofs are notorious for making a creaking noise in it. And it's very interesting how different people have a different way of resolving that problem. And one gentleman uh, on our Bronco 6G forum went through great, you know, he went through great pains in my eye, in my eyes. He went through a lot of work to put heat shrink uh, tubing on those pins on these this roof up here because these things uh, make a lot of creaking noise. And then, you know, on the forum, another gentleman weighed in and said, I just put some lubricant on mine and it went away. And you know what? <laughs> That's what I did. I literally just lubricated those pins and these uh, removable uh, panels. And that creaking, you know, obnoxious noise, it went away. So for anybody watching this video and has a Bronco with a modular top, I don't think you need to go through all that hassle of putting heat shrink tubing on your uh, little pins on your, uh, your top. I think it's a waste of time. Just lubricate it, you should be fine. Hope that helps anybody out there. You know, these videos are all about trying to help others. That's why I make them. Some may be like, hey, you just talk all day long, blah, blah, blah. Well, I like to share stories. But at the same time, if I'm a person that's getting a new Bronco, this type of information helps me out. I know that, and that's the goal. So I've been watching a lot of my videos and trying to help others figure out what works for them or doesn't work for them. You know, and in all sincereness, if this trailer was dragging me all over the road, the fuel mileage was six miles per gallon, this thing felt underpowered, I'd be telling you all that. And then I know if I was the guy still excited about my Bronco, I'd be like, I don't know, I was buying that Bronco to bring my travel camper to me to the upper, you know, backwoods and be able to go back wood to my Bronco with my camper set up. And now I'm here and this thing's having a hell of a time pulling 3,500 pounds, 3,800 pounds that is. And, you know, and then, and then it gets what, six miles a gallon? You know, I mean, these be all things. I'd be like, whoa, you know, is it really worth it? I'm just gonna keep my Ford truck or, you know, whatever other, whatever other vehicle you have that does the same thing, but you just want a new Bronco. Then I'd be like, yeah, I wouldn't do it. So. Uh, you know, once again, hopefully uh, it just helps others learn information so they kind of know, yeah, I think I'm on the right page for what I'm trying to accomplish. All right, now we're going up the hill and you're hearing that exhaust a little bit more, but I tell you what, you know, this is spring break up here, meaning uh, next week is spring break for a lot of the middle Atlantic area. And I'm leaving in my eyes, a day early, because most people head out Friday, this is a Thursday, but I gotta tell you, the roads are light, you know, the roads are light, the gas stations are light, um, you know, I I think things are changing in our country right now, and it's not for the better, unfortunately, you know, hey, look at me, hey, you know, look at me, I mean, just for me, today, I'm going basically a thousand miles, and at 11 miles, to the gallon, you know, that's that's like 88 gallons of fuel, you know, whatever the exact number is, I mean, 11 times, I guess, 88 is, you know, 880, and, or 11 times, you know, so, basically, what I'm trying to convey is, you know, I'll buy conservatively 90 gallons of fuel, give or take, and at four fifty a gallon, four forty a gallon, just say four dollars a gallon, that's three sixty. And then fifty cents times, you know, ninety is another forty five bucks. So, you know, I'm at four hundred dollars just in fuel, just one way. So for me to go from Florida and back home, for me is gonna be an eight hundred dollar fuel expense, which you just go back, you know, a year ago. 
and you know that cost would have been at least $150. Well, it would have been probably like five, probably like 600 bucks, you know, instead of 800 bucks. So, you know, for me, I think that unfortunately, a lot of people are starting to have to make decisions like, look, it's just too expensive. We just have to sit it out. And I, and I get that. I mean, it's unfortunate. Because once again, these roads are, you know, light. Hey, that isn't breaking my heart. As much as I drive up and down this 95, I mean, it's a drag. You have no idea how many times I've been up and down this road and it's bumper cars all the way down. So, and, you know, we had COVID. You know, during the COVID time, this was light. I mean, just talk about the change of times. Just incredible. And what this country's going through, a pandemic-related challenge, now high energy costs challenge, you know, your staples of life, food, you know, rent, I mean, everything. It's just crazy. All right. Look at that. We're 11 miles a gallon. So now doing this 75 miles an hour, you know, do we start seeing the 10? Yeah, I bet you we do. I mean, I said from the get-go, you watch my videos, I thought it'd be about 10 miles per gallon at the end of the day. I mean, if I slowed down some, there's no doubt. I just don't feel like getting in at midnight, breaking through by 11. So if I, if I keep it up a few notches, you know, yeah, I'll spend a few more dollars, but not a lot. Well, now we're on the 150 mile gas, gas up. So here we go. I'm having to get off and get more gas. Still got 563 miles to go. We're at 10.3 miles per gallon. Uh, I guessed it. I said 10. All right. Look at this here. 509, 459, 399. Which one do you think I'm buying? Look at this. 21 gallons, $96. Wow. Getting pricey. This will run at 87, so that's what we're going to do this time. All right. The fun part when you're driving down the road with a trailer is what's inside right and so far she's looking good looking good how's that one over there doing right i'm um, just checking the bikes i think we're okay let's get the dog some water get the water bowls here get the water bowl all right, so look at this here. Seven million dollars, nineteen point seven gallons. So I guess this has a twenty or twenty-one gallon tank. That's my guess. Let's say twenty-one. All right, time to get rolling again, right? Getting back on the highway. Push that pipe. Fill up. 
gloves, maybe four. Oh boy, oh boy. How far are we going? I feel like we're only going like 100 miles. We're 425 miles. We just filled up. The next time we fill it up, fill up should be like at three, like 300. This is bad boy. Come on, man. Gladiator, nope. My Wrangler Rubicon, nope. 